Um, I've heard the name Idols a lot. Like I've seen their name floating around, but I don't think I've ever listened to anything from them. Uh, so hopefully this is going to be a really good introduction uh, to this band. And, and uh, you know, I have I already have like some love in my heart for KEXP because I've seen a lot of King Gizzard from, uh, from KEXP. And so, uh, you know, th this is going to be hopefully a great performance. So let's jump into it. This is again, um, Idols Colossus live on KEXP. Here we go. I feel like they're gonna bring the energy here. Go to the 
not expecting that. I like that. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Um, that's one of those. Discover that... new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org. Oh, before we jump into the next one, let me go. Let me let me cover idols. This is one thing I was afraid of for putting it into a playlist was that it was going to go a little too fast. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I love that. I thought that was really good. I um, I completely understand. In the comments, you guys are kind of saying that. Uh, that first half of the song maybe didn't sit as well as the second half of the song. And I got to say, like, uh, the first half of the song was definitely a little off-putting in some ways. I, I can kind of agree with uh, Linda. I think she said that, that she wasn't really digging the vocals from this guy. Um, I, to me, I feel like it really worked for me. But, yeah, you know, the, the vocals here aren't as, like, um, I'm trying to think of the word, like, melodic or crisp as maybe uh, something that we're used to, to hearing in something like Chevelle or Queens of the Stone Age, right? But I feel like... Um, I feel like he does a pretty good job here. I, I think you can really see, and maybe it helped that, that you know, we, we're watching a live performance here because I think seeing just the intensity that he brings in that vocal uh, performance, I think really um, did a lot for me here. So let's kind of break it down a little bit. Let's start with the lyrics. So for actually, first things first, it does say here that Colossus is the first piece of music since 2017's uh, praised debut album Brutalism by the Bristol post-punk five-piece idols. The song is the first single from their second album, Joy as an Act of Resistance. Um, so DIY Magazine described this song as a blistering two-part rally against toxic masculinity. It's an exhilarating, deeply important return. Uh, the lyrics raise a substantial problem of being a real man in the 21st century and the protagonist's ways of tackling man-up attitude. Um, cool. So I do want to, uh, there's a lot more information here, but I want to kind of keep it short and sweet. Uh, let's go and take a look at some of these lyrics. I liked the part about <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, sorry. I thought it was, I was just going off color. Uh, so you're like on, on, in the chat, your name is pink and Buff Malibu is pink. So I probably got y'all mixed up, but, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so I was done in on the weekend. The weekend lasted 20 years. The world's best bulimic bartend, tender, violent, and queer. Forgive me, father. I have sinned. I've drained my body full of pins. I've danced till dawn with splintered shins. Full of pins, full of pins. Yeah, like these first two verses were definitely like a little hard to listen to, I think, vocally. Um, whereas I was like, okay, well, I think as it built up, it got a little bit more palatable to me. Uh, but yeah, I totally get what you guys were saying sort of about the vocals here. Uh, and then so chorus goes and it goes and it goes. I really liked kind of that part of it. I think it worked well with what he was doing vocally. Um, they laugh at me when I run. I waste away for fun. I am my father's son. His shadow weighs a ton. So yeah, kind of living in your father's shadow. Uh, we read a little bit about that sort of toxic masculinity uh, aspect of the lyrics. Um, goes and it goes and it goes. Then uh, they laugh at me when I run. I waste away for fun. I am my father's son. His shadow weighs a ton. 
goes and it goes and it goes. Forgive me, Father, I have sinned. I've drained my body full of pins. I've danced till dawn with splintered shins full of pins, full of pins. Goes and it goes and it goes. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I like how the lyrics specify that there's, this is like part two. Because, <laughs> yeah, it really was like two separate movements in the song. Um, I don't want to be your man, your man. I'm like Stone Cold Steve Austin. I put homophobes in coffins. I, th I thought that was a great line. Uh, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, I grew up watching wrestling. Um, and so, like, he was obviously, like, the biggest star in the world at the time. So him and The Rock. Um, and then uh, Steve Austin has... So, okay, I, I wanted to know the backstory on this. So I kind of clicked on this. Steve Austin has formerly... Uh, commented on same-sex marriage on his podcast with the following quote, I'm for same-sex marriage. I believe that any human being in America, any human being in the world uh, that wants to be married, it's, it, if it's the same sex, more power to them. Okay, this line is a reference to Stone Cold Steve Austin's iconic Buried Alive match against The Undertaker in which Austin put The Undertaker into a grave and buried him. However, there was there is no evidence to suggest that The Undertaker is or was homophobic. <laughs> Wrestling is wild, y'all. I love it. Um, I'm like Fred Astaire. I dance like I don't care. Why do I recognize that name? Who's Fred Astaire? American dancer singer. Oh, duh. Uh, I don't. I dance like I don't care. I'm like Ted DiBiase, another wrestler. I guess this guy likes wrestling. Maybe that. Maybe that bassist is a wrestler. I mean, honestly, like Ted DiBiase was a it was a wrestler. American former professional wrestler, manager, ordained minister, and color commentator. DiBiase is best known for his wrestling character, the rich and smug million dollar man. I'm like Ted DiBiase. I win no matter what it costs me. I'm like evil Knievel. I break bones for my people. I'm on my best behavior like Jesus Christ, our Savior. I'm like Reggie Cray. Uh, I, I for English criminals. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that second half of the song was great. Yo, the lyrics were really interesting. I liked them a whole lot. Um, I, I definitely dug it lyrically. Two big thumbs up. Uh, just thought it was really well written, really cool. Um, as far as the uh, vocal performance, the instrumentation goes, I love the intensity. I, I think I said it like right when the song started. Started, I was like, I feel like these guys are going to bring some some intensity with them, right? And they they definitely did not disappoint. Um, I, I like that they you know did build up to something very powerful uh, there at the end of the song. Uh, I think I mentioned last week, and I've, I've mentioned it plenty of times before that just uh, I hate when a song f like feels like it's building up to something and then doesn't like it doesn't give you that payoff, uh, which was what we heard in that Swans song from last week. Um, not to keep you know beating on it or anything, but just you know I, I I really like it when they feel like they're building up to something and then they do. Um, and so I felt like this like that in this song where where you know it kind of started off you you really got that bass in there you kind of had the drums come in you have had a few different elements uh sort of build upon it on themselves um until eventually really in that second half of the song man that was that was just so energetic and fun um and then you know vocally i kind of agree at at, at the start it was it was a little jarring i think um but as the song went on, and, and really really in part two, I think I really warmed up to his vocals, and, and uh, I think part of that is just the, sort of the punk rock aspect of it. I, I feel like his vocals um, really worked well there. So overall, I really like this one both instrumentally and vocally. I give it two big thumbs up. Um, and of course, as far as replay value goes, I mean, this is the kind of energy that I, that I like sometimes. You know, this can go on a gym playlist. This can, this is, to me, would be like a great song to just go on a, on a drive for. I have to commute for work like 25, 30 minutes every morning. So, I mean, this would be like a really great song to just drive to uh so yeah I'm, I'm digging it i give it two thumbs up for replay value really like this one um so yeah for sure this was a great request thank you for whoever requested this one idols uh colossus thanks again